Hey, what's up, fellas? Uh, we finally opened up the chest in my clan. Uh, right now, we are at 49 members out of 50, and I can't believe it, but this is the first time since the clan started that I've been able to open it. When I started the clan, it was like, well, I mean, it was like two or three people at first. Then it was, it was growing kind of slowly, like 10, 15 people. We had like 20, we hit 30 one point, but then like people left and it was like back at 20. So now we're at almost 50 people, which I've actually have been, had to kick people out because nobody's like, like, I don't know, some of them are like dead accounts or something. So I didn't really get anything too special in this clan chest. I got a mirror and I got a Valk, which I use a lot. I did start using a new deck. I'm pushing a, a P.E.K.K.A. Hog deck, which is really, really fun. And I have a few comeback replays from this. And I will show it to you guys at the end. Right now, what I have for you guys is a collection of uh, almost five videos of comebacks from uh, people that play on Clash Royale Arena. I have a uh, replay from a uh, Little Ducky, then I have one from Blue, then I have one from Godstone, I got one from uh, Juan, and I got one from one of my clan members, uh, Digital Savage. He is a uh, he's a new member, but he had an amazing uh, comeback, and I'm gonna show it to you guys later. This was a, a very interesting battle. He loses his tower immediately uh, because Lava Hound take a while they're expensive while they build up you know a person can come back like they can just push something and they can completely destroy your tower so right now he's coming back with the miner and the lava hound he's pushing a, uh, a mega minion behind at this point uh, the guy drops his car me and as you can see everybody's like texting a little ducky I don't understand what's going on with the match but here his lava hound locks onto the tower he has his mega minion behind he throws a clutch Skarmy. I mean, that Skarmy just completely stops that hog. And at 4 HP on the tower, the tower goes down. Nice job, little ducky. Now, the second battle is from uh, 5 Bluemon. Bluemon was pushing a Golem deck, and it looks like he had barbs for defense. I'm not really sure what the barbs were there for, but I think he had it for defense. So here he is, the Golem locks onto his tower. His tower is one of his towers is already down. He doesn't manage to take the tower all the way. He throws a Ice Wizard right next to the Executioner, and the Executioner starts getting the balloon, which is perfect. This is exactly what you want. Now, because uh, Bluemon is in a legendary arena, it's enough for him not to worry about the giant. He gets the barbs on the giant, just like we were talking about. The execution comes on the left, the guy throws the giant in the middle, he throws the golem right in the middle, just like his opponent did. So at this point, it was uh, it was down to the last 5 HP, uh, Bluemon got the tower. Uh, this tower also goes down. Okay, so now they're neck to neck. There comes the miner, uh, some barbs. So at this point, there's a lot of action going on. Now, there's two executioners attacking the tower. You got a wizard. Uh, the guy just throws a uh, princess for defense. But unfortunately, that's going to be enough. And that completely just uh, melts, the melts the tower away. So that was a nice job for uh, Bluemon over there. The first three people that you guys just saw, they are all on Clash Royale Arena. If you guys haven't heard of that group it's on Facebook uh, I know some of you guys don't have Facebook but be sure to check it out I made a lot of friends on there a lot of people game and uh, it's just it's a really really fun group so Godstone has a true red and his opponent has true blue uh, I filmed this video clip as a guest so uh, you're gonna see Godstone on the top and his opponent is on the bottom so his opponent uh, puts down a, a pump uh, Godstone counters that with a miner, and he has uh, barbs on the left with an executioner. Uh, the guy throws lightning, which really shuts down that push. Uh, the, the gentleman over there, the DC Dave, he's taking a minute, he's kind of trying to see, but he's gonna start pushing a Lava Hound as well. So he throws down his Lava Hound, uh, Godstone got a balloon, he has a, uh, he has a baby dragon, and he puts down uh, four little Larrys. DC Dave's uh, Lava Hound just pops, so we got the Lava Pops on the tower. This is becoming like a really, really close game. We see both of the towers are down substantially, all the King Towers. Godstone throws down a, uh, a Zap. He has a Balloon and a Baby Dragon on the tower. The tower is at 973. He throws down a Lightning, it is down to 293. He throws down a Fireball, completely getting uh, Godstone's tower to almost 94 HP, guys. Godstone comes back with a Lightning and completely takes down his towers. Dude, 
Nice job, nice job, Godstone. Now, the fourth match is from my buddy Juan Castro. Uh, Juan is the one who made an, uh, layout for me. He also has a clan, which I'm gonna give a shout out to. He was pushing an Inferno Dragon, a giant skeleton there. His opponent, Hamster, also has an Inferno Dragon. Uh, the Inferno Dragon burns the witch, now he, uh, Juan has a musketeer that's going up uh, on the left lane. He counters with a, a goblin barrel, so that completely shuts down the musketeer. Now keep in mind that Juan's deck uh, is strong, but his towers are very, very low. Like, these are like barely any HP towers. Uh, Juan's gameplays are very, very important. So any little mistake that he makes is just gonna completely get the towers out of there. So now he's pushing with a witch, and the opponent has a, uh, a bomber. Which a bomber, you know, seemingly doesn't seem very strong, but if it's enough to uh, to counter this witch. Now Juan is pushing again with a uh, Inferno Dragon. He throws the barrel which locks onto the tower. He zaps the remaining Skarmy. At this point, the lava, the Inferno uh, Dragon has full access to the tower. It locks onto the tower and uh, that's gonna take the tower. So nice job for you, Juan. The last match is, comes from my buddy Digital Savage. He is a new guy in my clan, but he he's learning a lot. He has kind of just like, he has a combination of cards that he likes. Like he has good strategy in countering, but what you saw over there, he kind of didn't let the cards come on his uh, side. So the arena towers can help him. So unfortunately he loses a tower there to the, uh, to the prince, but still there's two minutes in the game. There's a lot of gameplay to do. So that was, uh, that, was a, that was a really, really quick tower defeat, but uh, Savage over there still has some time to come back. So he throws down the baby dragon on top. The musketeer still stays alive, guys. The musketeer is still alive. It is actually a level three musketeer. If you guys are looking for my clan, we do donate a lot. Most of the cards that this guy got was from people from my clan, and he's just, he's new. You know, so we really don't look at a lot. So if you guys are looking for a clan, uh, be sure to check mine out. I'll leave uh, all the information below. Now he got his tower with just a Valkyrie. Now the guy counters with a uh, with a prince. Uh, Savage does a nice job of uh, stopping it with just some goblins and a baby dragon on top. Savage's uh, arena uh, king tower is at 405. I'm not really sure how the game like turned around here quickly, but the counter push here is just amazing. He has a, uh, he had a mini P.E.K.K.A. He has a Valkyrie, he has a baby dragon and a musketeer. Now he has a witch. A witch, if you don't know, a witch just has so much aggro on it that it's not even funny. All you have to do is give the witch enough time to spawn some skeletons and all the, oppo the opposing troops will just attack the Skarmies while the witch does a lot of damage. So at this point, a huge comeback for uh, Savage. Uh, he has almost three troops that lock onto the opponent's tower and it just, he counters a push that the guy just couldn't stop. So that was, uh, that was really, really a uh, good comeback for Digital Savage here. I appreciate all of the videos that you guys put in. I just want to give a shout out to all the guys. Be sure to check their clans out. As I was making the video, I made sure to leave uh, their clan information below. Again, if you guys like videos like this, let me know. I, I think I may be interested in doing a, an all comeback video or maybe the biggest pushes or something like that. Uh, if you guys have seen uh, spawner decks, you know how much uh, cards they can put out. And you can have almost up to 10 to 20 to 15 troops just going on a tower. So if you guys, let me know what you guys, guys would be interested in seeing. Maybe something like this or maybe a big spawner deck. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you in the next one.